Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. So today our tutorial is to estimate nonlinear radial using eViews 9. Specifically, the video is talking about the differences that eViews 10 and 9 may have. So the other tutorial that you may see will use eViews 10, which will have one thing missing, which will make it difficult to estimate in eViews 9, which is commonly available, and eViews 8 and previous ones. So this video will be useful to estimate only in the ideal for reviews 9 and previous versions. For this I have a data of two variables in which one is FDI, GDP and some controlled variables. So I have imported this data in eViews. So then first of all we will go back to the eViews. So here in, in, you have to firstly install the uh, ERD, a non linear ideal module. For that you need to go in add-ins, download add-ins, it will load you some of the add-ins that are available in the eViews website. So here you will find an ADL here. So in Azure, when you install it, it will be loaded in your uh, eViews. Then after installing, you have to select the variables which you wanted to use in the analysis. You have to make sure you use control button to select the variables and you have to select the dependent variable first and all others accordingly then open open as an equation and open as an ARDL so uh, let it run as many legs as they can so I estimated this nonlinear ARDL so before con converting into nonlinear ARDL so you have to mention in the specifics that which variable you want to make the asymmetric ones and which others are non-asymmetric ones for that you have to go in view and and labels so you have to write so here in label you have to write e s e s y v a r s asymmetric variables and you have to write it here in l f d i so it will tell you use that this is our asymmetric variable now i will go in add-ins you will be able to see this options because it is now installed but it will only show when you open the ARDL output now here I will can say make no linear ARDL now you can close the previous one and you can see here two new variables have been made FDA negative and SPA FDA positive it means the FDA negative is a portion of the dependent variable FDA variable which is decreasing and FDA positive is a portion which is increasing so you, now here the output is Estimated now, you have to check it that if they are there's a uh, if there's a bound test value, so it is 12.77, so it's highly significant. Then you have to go in the long run form. So here you can see the ECM value, which is minus 38, which is good enough. Then you can compare it with the uh, variables. You can see my both FDA variables are significant and their signs are different means there is asymmetry and other other variables are here so this way uh, I have estimated the model now what we have to do is I will shorten its size now we will go for its now you can also go for its diagnostics it's available here that had normality test it is insignificant and then you will go for autocorrelation so there is some autocorrelation here uh, and then you will go for heteroscedasticity set if there is no heteroscedasticity then you can go for reset test and there is no in missing specification once you finish then you go for estimated output and then go for multiplier graph and this graph is very important here you can see the, the full line is the effect of increasing FDI it is positive and it is gradually dampening so uh, present if there is a one unit increase in FDI so it's a log data so 1% increase in FDI its positive effect will increase and maximum 9 years it will show you a highest effect then it will become constant then the dashed with a narrow dot narrow gap is the negative effect so you can see when FDI is decreased by 1% it will increase the GDP and after five years, uh, after three years, it will become negative. Then it gradually will increase again. So 
the difference between them is the red line so you can see it here uh, it is increasing gradually and the, its upper and lower limits are not crossing zero which is here it means the asymmetry is positive so so with the increase in time the difference between the increasing FDI and decreasing FDI will increase this way you can prove that there is asymmetry then you can also generate the QZM graphs so this is QZM squares and this is QZM so both are stable so in this estimation there is only hypercorrelation but you can solve it by changing the lag order and hopefully it will be sorted out thank you very much for watching uh, nonlinear ideal models using e